Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's the problem. You perform a dehybrid test cross in cucumbers, in cucumbers warty skin is dominant to smooth, dull skin is dominant to glossy. You know that genes are in coupling state and there is 16% recombination between these two genes. Predict the proportion of the progeny, the genotype and phenotype from this test cross. First of all, what the hybrid test cross means. That means that one parent is going to be capital T, small t, capital D, small d. So let's say this is parent one, parent one, and parent two. So this parent is the hybrid for two genes, gene T and D. And we perform a test cross. That means that parent two have to be small t, small t, and small d small d. So now we call this the hybrid test cross. From our problem we also know that these two genes are on the same chromosome because they undergo recombination which is 16% and that means that they lay close to each other. So let's imagine that this is one chromosome, this is another chromosome and we also told that these two genes are in coupling state. That means that dominant allele T and dominant allele D on the same homologous chromosome. And for example, if you know that this parent is heterozygous, that means that other uh, chromosome has small t and small d allele on it. And genotype of the parent one, capital T small t and capital D small d. So this is genotype. And genotype of the parent 2 is small t, small d, small t, small d. So the same alleles on both chromosomes. Now imagine that in a progeny we can see that parent 1 would give this chromosome. So genotype of the progeny can be capital T and capital D, but parent 2 is going to give any of this, whether this or this genotype is going to be the same, small t, small d. So small t and small d. This is what we can see in a progeny if parent 1 would give this chromosome and parent 2 would give this chromosome, or again it doesn't matter, it can give this chromosome, genotype and the progeny are going to be the same. Another variant would be if parent 1 would give this chromosome and parent 2 would give any of this chromosome. So genotype of the progeny are going to be as follows. So this variant or this variant would produce the same genotype, which is going to be small t from parent 1 and small d from parent 1 and from parent 2 only small t and small d. So small t and small d. These two variants of the genotypes we can see in the F1 generation, so F1 generation or progeny generation, but these two variants we can see if no recombination happened here. But what if recombination did happen? For example, in a parent one it happened here and in this case we can see a recombinant uh, chromosome which would have dominant T and small d. So let's list this variant here, dominant t and small d. But parent 2 only can produce one variant, even if crossing over did happen, it doesn't change small t, small d, small t, small d, small t, small d. It doesn't change um, genotype of the chromosome. So parent 2 only can give again small t and small d to the progeny. But when crossing over happen in parent 1, it not only produced new variant of the chromosome capital T and small d, but also another variant small t and capital D. So let's list this variant also. So it's going to be small t and capital D. But again parent number 2 only can give one variant small t and small d. Now we have list all 
four variants possible and these two variants would be if crossing over didn't happen. And these two variants we can get if crossing over did happen, if recombination happened and according to our problem we know that recombination frequency is 16%. That means that this genotype we can see with a frequency 8% and this genotype we also can see with a frequency of 8%. And non-recombinant genotype frequencies are going to be so 100% minus 16 is going to be 84%. That means that this genotype we can see with a frequency of 42% in the progeny and this one also 42% frequency in the progeny. And the phenotypes are going to be as follows. Because capital T is present here, that means warty skin, capital D is present in this couple of alleles, that means dull skin, so warty and dull. Here is going to be smooth and glossy, warty and glossy, and smooth and dull. So we gave all the genotypes possible, we discussed phenotypes and we gave frequency of each phenotype. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.